YouTube. This is the uh, electric mountain bike. It's converted on the Kona Stinky with the E Ranger kit. 750 watt mid drive, 14 amp hour battery, full suspension. Um, bike is quite capable. It gets me up the mountain, the local mountain here, four or five times. I'm able to do four to five runs. Whereas uh, without the motor, even though for a young mountain biker, they're only able to get up the mountain once. So, more fun, more riding time, all good. And later on this video, I'll be showing you the process of the conversion. Hang tight. Tube, uh, I'll be um, doing a mid-drive conversion on this Kona Stinky. And uh, I'll tell you a couple of things that's required to select the bike. Um, you need to know for sure the frame inside here will accommodate the battery. And uh, for this one, I've already mounted the battery base. And uh, it mounts right onto the bottle holder uh, screws or bolts. Okay, and uh, my battery just slides in. As you can see, it's quite tight. So not all the bikes will fit, but you have to pick the ones that will fit. And um, second thing is the bottom bracket. The width here, my conversion kit is 68 millimeter. So this bottom bracket is, it's gotta be around 68 millimeter. Um, but 68 meter, millimeter is pretty standard on, on most bikes. And uh, I'll be showing you the process of um, doing the rest of the conversion. So hang tight. Uh, remove the bottom bracket. Remove the pedals first, crank arms, and then the bottom bracket. Now we're ready to install the motor in there. So this is the motor and um, all the hardware, lock ring, bracket, crank bolts, and um, the motor just fits in. Like that. And then the lock ring goes here, tightens down. The motor slided in. Uh, I ran the wires underneath the bracket before I put this triangular bracket in. So the wire comes out this way, and uh, that's your battery connection, and then that goes to your harness for the controller. And just got to bolt that up, tighten the two screws here, lock up the lock ring. For the lock ring, I like to put some of this thread locker on. and tighten it with this special tool. You can buy this tool on Amazon. They're not expensive, $10, $15. This little dust cap. It doesn't need to be tor torqued tight, just kind of hand tight, and I've got this tool, and that'll tighten up a little bit more, but it doesn't need to torque up. That's fine. It's just a dust cap. And the motor is in, ready to 
connected it up to the controller wire harness and uh, the front end. Here I've got the sensor installed. Sensor wire comes from the motor. I looped it around a couple of times and mounted it on there. And uh, just make sure that the magnet comes reasonably close to the sensor. And here I left the front derailleur on. Doesn't need it, but I left it on just to act as a chain guide. Okay, I got the front end here mounted, throttle here, control display, and the button unit. Nine levels of assist.